amazing, amazing art form here. Hold on to your hat. Welcome to the hat store. There are a lot of things that make a great hat, but first and foremost is the fit. We custom fit and custom shape hats. It looks good on you. Good. They, they freshened it up for you. Good deal. Back in 1915, my grandfather, Mr. Sam Silver, started the American Hat Company. I'm Gary Cohen, the original owner of the hat store. This was hand-shaped by yours truly. My grandfather, he taught my dad, he taught my uncle, his son. And then as I grew older, they taught me everything that they knew. My first hat that I shaped in our store for a customer, I was 13 years old. Today I've got 51 years under my belt and that's a lot of hats. In October 2018, Mr. Cohen sold his family business to my family. Molina's Cantina. <laughs> they're really good people, they're hardworking, they're honest. Oh my goodness, we've had so many celebrities that shop with us. ZZ Top, Lyle Lovett, Craig Biggio, The Bushes, and many, many others. You always got online the hat. And you can actually try on different styles. You have different crown heights as well as brim sizes. You really have two different style of hats, a straw hat and a felt hat. The highest quality hat you can get is a mink hat. Then you go to beaver and then down to rabbit and wool. And all of this I'm doing was taught to me by Gary. The steam actually just softens the hat. I don't really do anything. It's kind of like molding a piece of clay. You relax the, the, the body of the hat with the steam. So we'll take that hat and we'll start out by putting a crease in the top of it. And then whatever height you desire, the crown to be. And it's all by touch. So we use a shackle iron. It's basically an antique tool. And we put a little curl in the edge of the hat so that once it's shaped, it doesn't wave. It doesn't have a doesn't have a, a wave in the edge. I'm uh, 104. You got it. He was born in 1915, the same year that my grandfather started the American Hat Company here in Houston. Isn't that amazing? It really is. He loves that hat, I think. <laughs> Just like it had eyes. It feels good. <laughs> oh, that's what you want. It feels good. Yeah. My grandfather, he would be very, very happy that his ideas and his uh, expertise was carried on for 105 years beyond. It's just, it's just kind of a labor of love, really, for me. 